Nom. 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 insulating our whole van with havelock wool we did leave out a few spots for the time being but we have it mostly completed and it's feeling really nice and cozy in here but it did take us just a little bit to figure out how exactly to do the insulating the ceiling the walls and the subflooring were all pretty different processes so we're gonna walk you through it all In today's video, we are going to be talking about something super sexy, aka insulation. Insulation, insulation. So, when we first started researching our how to, you know, start converting this van, one of the first things we we're reading about is insulation. And I'm going to be honest, there are so many options out there, and it is pretty overwhelming and quite a bit confusing. Lanolin. We settled on using sheep's wool insulation. Like sheep's wool. And we are pretty confident that this is one of the best types of insulation there are out there for van conversions. Ba ba black <laughs> sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, a whole van full. <laughs> and in this video, we're gonna explain exactly why we chose sheep's wool insulation and how to install it on the floor, on the walls, and on the ceiling. So we're gonna go through it all so you can follow our tips and our steps so that you can also put insulation in your van conversion. So first things first, there are three main reasons why we went with sheep's wool insulation. And before I get started, the brand that we went with was Havelock Wool and it's kind of like the brand out there. It's especially made for van lifers as you can see. And I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of fun with this insulation insulation. That was great. Anyway, moving on. So the three reasons that we chose to go with sheep's wool are number one, it is a sustainable and renewable resource. So a lot of the other traditional types of insulation out there actually have a ton of chemicals in them. They're really not great for the environment. They're also not great for you to be breathing in all the time, especially in a very small confined space like this. So the second reason we chose sheep's wool insulation is it deals really well with moisture. If you think about it, when you're in a camper van, you're going to be going in and out of a lot of different climates hot cold wet dry you know you're gonna be collecting condensation on your van and that condensation can become a problem depending on what insulation you choose some traditional insulation will kind of collect that moisture and start to pool water around your van and that moisture those water pools can lead to mold mildew and all sorts of other problems whereas sheep's wool um, it collects the moisture and then it releases it back into the air. So you're never going to have that buildup of moisture, that buildup of water pooling around your van. And the last reason sheep's wool is a great choice is that it does a good job of canceling the outside noise. So that's the road noise, that's any noise if you're parked in a loud area. So one thing that I will mention is that the makers of Havelock say that you don't necessarily need to install this noise dampening uh, material. Some people do, some people don't, uh, but we decided to just be better safe than sorry and we installed it because there's not really a point that you can go back and install this after you've done your build and decide it's too noisy. So we did both the noise canceling and the Havelock, which is probably a little bit overboard, but that's what we did. But it is said that this insulation keeps out 90 to 95% of outside noise. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Um, and one last thing to point out is Havelock has their insulation available in two types. So there is a loose insulation that you can kind of stuff, and then there's batting, which we chose the batting, and it comes kind of in sheets. You can cut those sheets. You can also kind of pick it apart so that it feels like the loose fill. 
This right here is actually two bags. It's one one actual bag, but it counts as two. And this is one. So all together, we have three bags of this Havelock wool insulation for our ProMaster 2500. Last little thing to say about Havelock is this company is really cool. They're based out of uh, the Lake Tahoe area in California. The sheep's wool actually comes from New Zealand, but they've been really great and responsive. We've like emailed them a couple times because we've had some questions. They also provide some really great tutorials on their own websites. And while we're on the subject, we do have a link below. That's a referral code so that you can purchase through our link if you if you so wish. We would really appreciate that. So without any further ado, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get to cutting this bag open and show you how we are going to install this in our van. <laughs> Found your new pillow? So we open up this single bag of the insulation and what is inside is 20 bats or 20 sheets just like this that are two inches thick. You don't necessarily need the two inches thick on the floor. You might want the thicker uh, size insulation on your ceiling to keep that trapped air inside. But for the floor, we're actually going to be splitting this in half just like this to create a one inch thick bat. Um, that'll just help our wool go a little further and we don't necessarily need so much insulation on the floor. Now we have two strips. And I am already all full of sheep's wool. I don't know if you can see that, but let's get to installing. All right, so Ben wanted to get nerdy and measure the bat to give you the exact dimension. So what have we got, Ben? They make it quite convenient that the width is 16 inches, just like in a house from stud to stud, it's 16 inches apart. I did not know that. <laughs> Learning something new. True fact. And then the length is about four feet. And so we'll be able to calculate that and then use it to figure out how much we need for the, for the entire van. If your van's anything like ours, these are gonna be not perfectly even and you might end up with some like extra random pieces of, of insulation. And that's fine because what we'll be doing later when we put insulation in the wall is stuffing it into these little spaces. So things like this are gonna be perfect for that. But what you wanna do is just make sure that you're getting the insulation cut to fit in between these strips and so that it lays as flat as possible. One more thing worth mentioning is that if you're wondering where to focus your efforts on insulation, maybe you're running low, you don't have quite enough, it might be worth noting that the ceiling and the walls really are gonna be the most important. Hey Ben. Yeah. Do you have any sheep puns? No, they're all bad. <laughs> Katie, you forgot the real reason why we decided on Havelock wool. Why? Because we have a ram. <laughs> done here it took us about 45 minutes give or take both of us working together on this project um one kind of funny thing is that there are some of these holes with which we will be um, bolting the subfloor down with a bolt through the bottom of the floor those actually came with the van as it was they were um, like cargo hold thingies I don't know cargo ties that's what they were uh, but Ben just told me, Katie, can you spread the wool so I can access the hole? And I thought that was a very strange way of putting it. But I listened and I made sure that there was a hole in the wool so that we can still access that hole and not have to search forever for it. That's what I meant. Get your minds out of the gutter. Spreading the wool so you can access the hole. All right, we just finished the insulation of our floor and it's looking pretty good. It was pretty simple. The yeah. only uh, like tool or whatever we really needed was a scissors. And now we are ready to secure our subfloor. I do, like my hands smell like a petting zoo. How are and you I, feeling, Ben? I have like wool all over me. But overall, I don't feel too bad. See what I have to live with? Every day. Ew. <laughs> With Havelock wool, it comes in two different types. The first is loose fill, which is kind of like a giant cotton ball that you can stuff into small spaces. And the second is a bat, which is like a giant sheet of sheep wool. We went with the bats because 
We can use it as a sheet or we could use it uh, by picking it apart and kind of turning it into loose, loose fill. I uh, like that you're still wearing your safety goggles. Safety first. Yeah. All right, so today we are installing the insulation in our van. The uh, insulation, insulation, if you will. <laughs> if you didn't catch that, that was the insulation, installation. Try saying that three times fast. The uh, insulation, insulation. <laughs> we are using Havelock wool for all the insulation in our van and we have an article which we'll link below um, that goes over all the different options and kind of helps you weigh the pros and cons. So one tip as you're installing the insulation is to grab something long and pokey like a wooden spoon. With a wooden spoon, not only do you have this big end, which is gonna be great for really shoving the insulation over into these areas, but you have the small end too which is super nice for these very hard to reach areas. Otherwise, you're gonna be cutting up your fingers a lot. Um, so if you've got a wooden spoon laying around, go grab it now, because it's gonna be incredibly helpful. Stop feeding me. I'm already full. Nom, 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 nom. That cheap's will taste good. We're opening our next bag of wool, and this is actually a double bag. Yes. So is. how many bats are in there, Ben? So there are 40 bats in here. So there's two bags. Each bag is 20 bats. All right. Let's see that beautiful, beautiful sheep's wool. It is just exploding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we had a slight change of plans. Yeah, as you can see, we have all of these support beams insulated, um, but today our plan was to actually do all of the flat surfaces of the walls and everything. However, the more we thought about it, the more it made sense to wait because we're still probably two weeks away from putting up our walls mm -hmm. and we have some more projects. We really wanna get done first. So if you can take one lesson away, I guess, one thing that you have to do is be flexible when you're building a van because you might have a project in mind and you realize it really makes a lot more sense to do it a different way and you kind of have to be flexible and pivot and you know change up your plan so we've got our beams insulated but the walls will be coming a little bit later All right, the next step is going to be to insulate our walls using these bats of insulation from Havelock Wool. As you can see, they are really nice and fit into the wall recesses pretty well, but we need something to hold them there in place. So that's what we are doing right now. We have got this mold resistant nylon string here. And basically the method that we're using is just trying to string it up and down the walls attaching it anywhere we can. Now, depending on your make and model, you might be able to string it a lot more easily or it might be much, much more difficult for you. So there's all these little holes and notches and gaps here and we're kind of just, you know, going through as, as much as we can. It would have been probably easier to do this before we had insulated these ribs. So if you wanna start by stringing and then insulating these guys that might actually be the best method one other like somewhat tip is if you have like a crochet um, needle hook kind of thing that would be super helpful in this project we don't have one of those and so we're doing something probably not the best but it's kind of all we could think of we have um like a drill or a, a saw blade a jigsaw blade and we've we've wrapped the string around it. And so when we need to get into those crevices or into those smaller holes, we're using that to kind of guide us. Again, a crochet needle would be so much more helpful. So if you have one of those, by all means, grab it. Voila! All right, today we're starting the process of installing the ceiling. So there are several steps that go into this and you want to make sure you follow them 
as closely in order as you can because we ended up doing them a little bit out of order and had to rewind and kind of do some work over again. So try to avoid that. The first step that you're really gonna wanna do is find some mold resistant string. This is a nylon string and attach it to your ceiling. This is what we're gonna use to hold or to secure our insulation. And basically all you have to do is slide it underneath and then collect it on the other side. Try not to scratch the roof. And then I pull it all the way through and then I bring it on to the next one. We were lucky with the Dodge ProMaster. We were just able to string those along the whole ceiling. It was super easy and that is kind of the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do. Secondly, you're gonna to wanna to insulate these ceiling ribs. One thing that we've heard from a lot of other uh, van lifers is that the ceiling is one of the most important places to insulate because that's where the air is going to escape or come in. So you wanna make sure that you don't forget to insulate these and it's kind of a pain in the butt depending on your model. You might do it differently, but for us, we're just using a screwdriver and sticking some insulation in there. It was kind of a long and tedious process, but I think it'll be well worthwhile. All right, we've got our strings in place. Got it. Stick it in there, Ben. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Look at that fit. Like a glove. All right, now we just gotta replicate that over the rest of the van. All right, we're almost done with the insulation installation. One spot you can't forget about is up above your cab. And up above here, we had to loosen this little, let me turn, we'll put a little light into it. You have to loosen this uh, fabric, this um, layer, just by popping off these tabs. And then install maybe three or four bats of, of wool up in there, just to give an extra insulation. All right, we just finished insulating our whole van with Havlock wool. We did leave out a few spots for the time being, but we have it mostly completed and it's feeling really nice and cozy in here. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? How we're in, in, in it, <laughs> Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. <gasps> I have so much wool in my throat. Ew. <laughs> As, we're almost done with the full installation, installation. Wait, you said that wrong again. Try saying that three times fast. The uh, installation, insulation. I still don't think you're saying that. Right <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, will you give us a thumbs up? And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, okay, enough with the sheep puns. If you have any questions, comment below. We'll try to get back to you. And if you want to learn more about Havlock Wool, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching.